coming into a, a comfortable seat, whatever that is for you, maybe in a chair or perhaps on the earth. And we'll take this Gyan Mudra, so it's the, the thumb and index finger to touch and then the backs of the hands can come onto the knees. And this might signify something different to your body and mind. A mudra is a, an energy seal, a gesture that is an invitation, this one in particular, an invitation to go inside. So when you feel ready to, you can amplify that going inside by closing down the eyes. And let's start by simply becoming aware of the breath, taking stock of the breath and notice what you notice there. For some people, uh, in particular, I want you to focus on the length of the inhalation versus the length of the exhalation. So in our modern life, there is a tendency to be focused on the inhalation and the, the doing, the action. However, we're going to focus on a samavritti breath and to bring measured evenness to the breath. Sama, same, vritti, fluctuation. So inhaling and just get a feel for the exhale matching the inhale. For a lot of people, the exhalation is way shorter. We're, there's an epidemic of us rushing around, not finishing things. So the exhalation is an invitation to follow this one thing all the way to its end. And yes, it's a little bit mechanical, but let's count the breaths. Inhaling for a count of four, three, two, one. And exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale for four. And exhale for four. And once you've settled into that and got a sense that the inhale and exhale are even, then drop the counting. And this is a, a beautiful thing that you can take with you throughout your day, bringing greater presence and mindfulness, as well as that relaxed evenness that will permeate your emotions, your mind. And this is really the gift that the ancient yogis gave us. They practiced many different ratios and different techniques to create a different feeling tone within the body and mind and emotions. So how might this relaxed evenness ripple through your life? And then allowing the relaxed evenness to then translate into an ujjayi breath, the ujjayi pranayama, where we create that soft, hollow sound in the back of the throat, less from closing down the throat, but more an opening out.
continue with the oceanic ujjayi sound. But you might find that rather than a four count, the breath has extended to eight in such an effortless way, not that you're counting. The sound becomes like a mantra and a mantra is translated as that which soothes the mind. Let the sound wash through the mind, soothing, calming. And taking just two more of these breaths. How slow can you go? Letting go of the ujjayi pranayama, just pause for a moment. Noticing what you notice, notice the effects and changes. And then going into one of the more stimulating Kapalabhati breaths. So breath of fire. So remember this all happens in the belly and it's this pumping of the belly. Uh, navel to spine on the exhale and then relaxing through the inhale. This is no good during pregnancy or if you have high blood pressure. If that's the case, stick with your slow ujjayi breaths. But if you like to, we'll come and do three rounds of the Kapalabhati breath. So you could even have one hand onto your belly if you need to have that awareness there. So we take a three quarter inhale and begin. Exhale everything out. Take a long, full inhale. And exhale out dynamically through the mouth. Return to a normal Samavriti breath. This Kapalabhati translates as shining skull breath. You might feel that tingling sensation through the brain, through the skull. Again, the gift that the ancient yogis gave us, all of these various breaths. A quick inhale and exhale done in succession. All of these different techniques, a smorgasbord of techniques for us to choose what we need in this moment. And it may be that you need to revert back to the ujjayi, but if you can, two more rounds of this Kapalabhati, wonderfully clearing, cleansing breath. Focus on that letting go. Inhale, a three-quarter inhale and begin. <laughs> S 
stop earlier if you need to, but continue on if you can. Exhale, inhale, breath in, full breath. And exhale, empty everything out. <sighs> Return to the normal, natural breath. Feel for the afterglow of the Kapalabhati breath. In truth, it's the over carbon dioxide, over oxygen in the body. And as you start to breathe, then we start to regulate the breath and that tingling should settle. And taking one more round if it's available and even doing a hold afterwards, which will help for all that extra oxygen to be uh, absorbed within the body. So if a hold, a breath hold is okay for you, if not, then don't do it. Inhaling a three quarter breath and begin. <laughs> Exhale everything out. If it's okay for you, hold chin to the chest, lift the pelvic floor, navel to spine and hold. Breath out. At this time, know that your body is receiving all of the oxygen, the extra oxygen that it wasn't able to receive earlier. You might find that you can hold for longer. Make sure that you hold and that you breathe in at that point. You might like to breathe in now so that there's no strain on the inhalation. When you do breathe in, lift the head, soften the bandhas, Uddiyana Bandha, Muladhara Bandha, relaxing them and rest in the stillness, the wake of the Kapalabhati breath, stimulating, energizing. Great to do if you need to clear the cobwebs. And then let's take Nadi Shodhana, a harmonizing breath balancing breath touch the index finger middle finger to the third eye point and ring just use your dominant hand ring finger to one nostril and thumb to the other nostril inhale through both nostrils and exhale through the left go for that sama vritti even measured breath inhale through the left nostril up to the third eye point and exhale through the right. Inhale right. And exhaling through the left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right from outer rings of the nostril up to the third eye point and exhaling through the left. Continue on like this. You could count the breath if you wanted to. 
if you're comfortable with holds, you could hold at the top of the inhalation. Nadi Shodhana. The Nadis are the uh, equivalent of the meridians in yogic anatomy. So the energy points, really we're balancing the and harmonizing the main two, Ida and Pingala, and then the central channel of Shashumna, symbolized by the uh, caduceus, that two snakes entwining up the staff. You can see it on the side of ambulances. Feel that balancing, harmonizing effect. And the next time that you exhale out through the left nostril, you can release the hand down and again, just this little pause. Noticing what you notice about the effect of the breath. And maybe just taking a little moment of gratitude and celebration that we have these tools. Anytime you're feeling in a funk, you could easily take five minutes of breath work and clear that. What a gift, what a blessing to have these tools. In the last breath, the Veloma breath, where we break the lungs into three equal parts, lower, middle and upper. And there's a slight pause in between the breaths, perhaps taking your Gyan Mudra again. So let's breathe together, a long inhalation, a long exhalation, that clearing and emptying, inhaling down into the lower lungs and pause, to the middle lungs and pause, the upper lungs and pause, and exhale out in an unbroken stream, smooth, fluid exhalation. Inhaling again to the lower belly, to the middle chest, a pause, to the upper chest, a slight pause and a smooth exhalation. Inhaling again into the lower lungs and pause. To the middle lungs and pause. The upper lungs and pause. And this time the broken exhale as well. So exhaling out through the upper chest and pause. Through the middle chest and pause. And through the lower lobes and the belly navel to spine and again that little pause before beginning again. So you've got this, you can continue on in your own time. Experience the three broken parts being filled with equal duration and equal volume. So again you're looking for that evenness, that smoothness. bringing rhythm bringing depth and length 
And Veloma is a tranquilizing breath. So allow the deep relaxation to wash over you as you complete this final round. Then drop all technique. Notice the wake of the breath practice, the pranayama sequence. the journey of lengthening to stimulating to relaxing and that the car the mind is like this calm serene lake the surface of a lake at dawn the golden light changing moment to moment in the serene surface of the lake simply reflects that in the Eightfold Path of Yoga. Pranayama comes before meditation and it's a wise placement. Notice how easily and effortlessly the mind rests. There may be thoughts, but it's almost like the volume has been turned down on them. And there's a, a spaciousness between the thoughts that just seems to grow and expand. And you can welcome that. You can join the hands together in Namaste and perhaps make an intention for the day to carry this spaciousness into all aspects of your day, to carry this 
calm and ease into all parts of your life. Thank you so much for taking the time to practice with me. Namaste. Thank you.